About 60,000 Canadians have a stroke every year. A stroke is an injury to a part of the brain. It happens when something goes wrong with the flow of blood to the brain. There are two types of strokes. An ischemic stroke is when an artery to the brain becomes blocked. A hemorrhagic stroke is when an artery to the brain bursts or bleeds. In both types, the part of the brain damaged by the stroke can affect how you move, think, see, and or speak. To spot the signs that someone is having a stroke, ask yourself, is their face drooping? Can they raise both arms? Is their speech slurred or jumbled? If so, it's time to call 911. In English, this spells fast. There are some things that increase our risk of having a stroke we can't change. Like age, being a man or woman, race, or family history. But there are things we can change, like managing certain medical conditions and making healthy life choices. Atrial fibrillation, high blood pressure, heart disease, high bad cholesterol levels, not exercising, diabetes, smoking, and alcohol use are all risk factors. Atrial fibrillation is an abnormal beat of the heart. Often you do not feel this happening. Clots can form in the heart when blood is not flowing normally. These clots can then be pumped to the body and move up to the brain, causing a stroke. After a stroke, you may be asked to wear a Holter monitor to see if you have atrial fibrillation. If you do, your doctor may ask you to take medications like a blood thinner. High blood pressure is one of the most common risk factors for stroke. The top number is the pressure in the blood vessels as the blood is pumped from the heart. The bottom number is the pressure in the blood vessels when the heart is at rest. Keep a log of your blood pressure reading, the date and time of day, and any factors that may have affected your target pressure, such as exercise or stress. Share this information with your doctor. Cholesterol refers to the amount of fats in the blood. Bad cholesterol causes buildup in the walls of the arteries, while good cholesterol helps carry the bad cholesterol away. You may be at risk for stroke if you have too much bad and not enough good cholesterol in your blood. Have your doctor check your blood fats every three to six months. People who have diabetes are also at a higher risk of stroke. Be sure to monitor your blood sugars as levels that are too high or low can lead to other health problems. Eating healthy, being active, managing your weight, and taking medications as prescribed are all ways to help manage your blood pressure, cholesterol levels, and diabetes. Snoring loudly, pauses in breathing, or gasping for air when sleeping may be signs of sleep apnea. Sleep apnea can increase your risk of stroke. If you have these problems, talk to your doctor about a sleep study. Having a healthy lifestyle can lower your risk of stroke. Be active for at least 30 minutes five times a week. Take a walk once a day. Take the stairs if you can and spend less time in front of the TV. Quit smoking. Most people take several tries to quit, so don't get frustrated. Just keep trying. If you feel the need to smoke, there are programs and other options to help you quit. Drinking more than a standard glass or two a day of alcohol increases your risk of stroke. After a stroke, it is important not to drink for the first year to help the brain recover. If you plan to return to drinking alcohol after some recovery, be sure to talk with your doctor. High levels of stress can increase the risk of clots forming in the blood. We all have stress in our lives, so it's important to find ways to cope, such as meditation, exercising, or spending time with loved ones. Healthy eating habits include watching what and how much you eat. 
For some people, too much salt can increase blood pressure, so think of ways to limit how much salt is in your diet. Use other spices to flavor food. Choose more fresh, non-processed foods and read food labels to check for salt content. To manage your cholesterol, consider cooking with meats that are less fatty. Use hard healthy fats like olive oil and avoid foods high in trans and saturated fats. Include foods rich in fiber such as fruits and vegetables. If you want to learn more about eating healthy, talk with a registered dietitian. Making one to two changes per week is a great way to start. Now that you understand a stroke and its risk factors, ask yourself, what will I do differently and who can I talk to about these changes? Be sure to check out the next video in the series, Recovery After Stroke.